Hey guys, been meaning to do this for a while. Finally got a chunk of the schedule cleared to play Ghost of a Tale. An adorable stealth game. If, to follow up our cell shitted anime, not, not anime, ninja stealth game. Why did I say anime? Whatever. In the beginning was the green flame. A force without conscience, consuming all in its path. The creatures of the world fought back, but one by one they fell, only to rise again as puppets of the emerald fire. It was the rats alone who stood and fought, until at last, at Periclave, the green flame was extinguished. Mara. Mara, where are you? Hey! Look at him. Look at him. How are you guys doing? We can sleep here. The basin. Oh, now, now it's an empty basin. Having some mushrooms. Your health is low. Open this thing up and do it. Here you can find information about quests and lore. Oh, this, there's a lot here. Hi. Candlestick. Okay, what about the food? There we go. Mushrooms. Eat. That helped a lot. A sour apple. I've got headband and a belt. That's all I've got for clothes. A song book. Written and compiled over years on the road, in a costume book. Your book of characters and their costumes. Oh. There are actually songs in here. Oh, neat. Oh. I have a figurine of my infant son, Rin, and my loot. A tool of your craft, and one of your most prized possessions. It was carved by your master's master from driftwood gathered along the shores of Lake Phalia. What, I, what I'm taking from that is that if it breaks, we're screwed. The binding of your songbook has been damaged, a number of pages torn out. Many of the songs contained herein are traditional lays, gener generations old and belonging to no creature. While others are compositions of your own. This candlestick is stamped with the mark of Howland Tupel, a famous mouse pewterer. There's a lot going on here. Everything's readable. You you made the minstrel's hood yourself under the guidance of Master Le Lewin, Lulin. Le Leolin. It's fastened with a silver button, a gift from Mara, the pattern on its face, worn smooth with age. It said the bell of a minstrel's hood is muted to show that a minstrel understands the importance of silence as much as song. In truth, the sound is extremely annoying, so most minstrels take the bell's clapper out. <laughs> Great. Good to know. So we are not Mara. Mara must be the person we're looking for. I wasn't- it, we- that little intro was like, Mara, where are you? And I didn't know if that was somebody else calling out to us. But no, it's- that's what we were thinking in our sleep. There's our skills we can get. Lore. Ain't nothing here. Oh, we have a rose. Flowers for Mara. You stood before the Baron, your wife Mara at your side. He bid you play the poisoned cup, and you knew then this was not for his amusement, but a test. And so play you did. But from Mara, there was only silence and a look of such defiance. He moved to strike her, the Baron, and you cried out and went to her. And then darkness... How many days have passed since then? In your heart you know she's still alive, and that you'll one day find her. Until then, all you have are these flowers, your memories of her, and a question. Why? The Poisoned Rose. Do we have that song? Can I read that specific one? In- for context? The 
the Battle of the, the Ballad of the Coward King, the Gilded Warrior, a Murder of Crows, the Maiden Won't Sing, Heaven in a Bottle, the Poisoned Cup. The Rat with Two Tails. The Poisoned Cup, a lay that recounts the shameful actions of the mice during the War of the Green Flame. Oh, so it sounds like the it sounds like the king was shaming mice, and and it, yeah, it'd be like as if that. If the, uh, like, there's a, it's, I think of, like, in Game of Thrones, there's a specific song that comes up that's, like, really tragic for the Starks after a certain point in the story, and it'd be, like, forcing them to play that song. For fourteen days, the Emerald Fire laid siege to royal Pace's spires. In the distance, black smoke billowed, as wheat fields burned like funeral pyres. The mice had sworn to hold the pass, vowed till their allies could amass. They would not waver from the fight, but courage failed them at the last. And so before the horde was laid, a goblet carved of finest jade, a tribute to the green flame's might, in hope its ire could be assuaged. But their treachery was all for naught. There was no bargain to be bought. The goblet was a poisoned cup, and from its sorrows flowed. Mara's book. Okay, so we'll get more pages over time. This book contains flowers dried and pressed between its pages. Each is a memory of Mara, of the moments that led to the day you first met, and of all the days since. The blank pages await the days that will pass once you are together again. My sprint speed seems to be boosted right now by two little diamonds. Wonder if, like, the mushrooms... Or something to that. An apple core. Oh, actual food. There you go. Mysterious message. Jailbreak. Find me. Cover your tracks. And move unseen. S? Oh. They gave me a key. Alright, so I've already been given a way out. Good for me. What's the jump button? There it is. It's B! Oh, and that's our stamina? But they said my health was low. I wonder if your health is your stamina. Like, the maximum stamina is my current health, and if I take damage, I lose more stamina. That'd make some sense. The grate is cemented to the stone floor and cannot be opened. Use the cell key. Easy enough. We just leave. Name, Tilo, Profession Minstrel. Offenses, Acts of Sedition. So our name's Tilo. Or Tilo, Tilo. And we got some things in here. Probably what we had on us when we came in. We have a sackcloth hood, fire steel, some money, candles. So now our candle stick, if we use it, actually has something we can use. There's that. The message is written on a scrap of thin waxed paper of the kind used by the rat guard to send official messages between their outposts. So we're the guard. So we're being guarded by rats. We are mice. The rose's scent reminds you of Mara's grace. Its thorns, however, remind you of her wit. Aww. Oh, that's like a, that's like a heart key, isn't it? Flint and fire steel, so we can start fights, which is good for the candlestick and everything. No mouse would willingly remove their hood. How many other journeys have endured here? Have ended ended here? No mouse would willingly end uh, remove its hood. This one this one reduces all of my stats, just across the board. The belt is a simple length of rope carrying your purse and holding pouch. The pouch, which you bought at a market in Thosa, is curiously capacious. Unable to contain items far larger than its size should allow. No, and and able to. Uh, do you give me sprint speed? You say two, and the other one says two. It's locked. You need the screaming door key. You've attracted a guard's attention. Quick, go to the chest and hold right trigger and A to hide. Don't forget to hide in many different places. Whoop. Quick save with the right stick. Oh, he looks friendly. He just massively outsizes me. 
So now they know that I'm not in jail because they found that door open. Did he just leave the open? He left the door open, didn't he? Not the smartest, is he? You can run really fast on all fours. Zoom. That also kills your stamina. Okay. Look at him. Look at her. Him. Her. Him. Yeah. Wife. Tilo. Totally thought we were going to be playing as a female character based on just their appearance. Or did I... Didn't really think about it until it was contradicted. I just kind of assumed for some reason. Oh, someone's in there. Oh, it's a frog. A stick. A sturdy branch, well balanced for throwing, breaks with a sharp crack. Can be used to create a distraction or dislodge an item from its perch. So throw with Y, cycle, equip, unequip. All right, here it is. I can equip it. Then how do I use it? Ah. Use with triangle. I mean, why? But can I burn stuff? Probably, but not that. So I can throw that for a distraction. Good to keep around. Oh. Hi. Old pirate frog, of course. Oh, got a frog. I mean a bug. Ferret's balls. What do you think you're doing, Mousy? Barging into my cell uninvited? Do you know who I am? Read footnote, what? Ferrets are renowned for their wedding festivals, which involve magnificent balls, often danced at a breakneck pace. Danced at a breakneck pace. What? Like their ball? Oh, like a, a get together? Yeah, I guess like a get together? Because I have no idea. You don't know your own name? No, wait. Carol Red Whiskers, that's it. Carol Red Whiskers, less least I was. Navigator of the Lake Witch under Captain Otto Powderkeg. A stocky barrel of a rat with a short fuse. Captain, Captain Otto ba Powder Keg was a captain of the Lake Witch. A galleon that for more than a dozen years terrorized the merchant ships that ferry goods between the five great ports of Lake Valia. It's said that he'd wax his tail and set it alight before going into battle. And it was that this that gave him his name. Captain Powder Keg gained notoriety for his crimes and fame from the handsome Wanted poster, which he himself had printed up and distributed in order to bolster his renown. The captain was finally captured when his ship wrecked against submerged rocks just off the eastern shore of Lake Valia, near Dwindling Heights Keep. The cause of the wreck is never established, but will likely remain a mystery, for once the doors of Dwindling Heights closed behind him, the captain was never seen again. How could he have possibly crashed? Could it could have been because this navigator right here is forgetful and crashed? So you've come to rob me, have you, little scrunt? I'm sorry? Oh, scrunt. A word too rude to define. Great. Aye. A mouse is always sorry for something. Every voyage I took with a mouse on board ended in tragedy, and there was always a mouse on board. What is it you want, mousy? Tell me, was it you who helped me escape my cell? What do these chains tell you, Mousy? Does it look like I could help you escape? Hmm, I suppose not. Aye, and, and I wouldn't if I could. Ha! Ah, Alright, he's proud of that one. Please, I need your help. Is that right? What's in it for me? Perhaps I could try and find the keys to, to your chains, set you free? Free? Why would I want to be free? Being free is what got me put in here in the first place. Well, that and the piracy thing. Now, I've got everything I need right here. Damp air, all the flies I can eat, and my own stool. But there is something. Down the corridor, the sleeping guard. I need to strangle him. What? Why? Because he called me a pirate. But aren't, aren't you a pirate? I am proud of it. But it was the way he said it. Like being a pirate's a crime. But isn't it a crime? Aye, it is, and I'm not ashamed of it. Then why would you want us to kill him? Because he called me a pirate. But 
Aren't you a pirate? And I am proud of it. It was the way he said it. Alright, we're just going around in circles now. Exactly, exactly. So you'll do it then? <laughs> that's gr That's really funny. I, I mean, I could try? No, I'm not a murderer. Fair enough. Why don't you just steal a bottle of his rot gut for me then? And I'll see if I, if I can't help. Alcohol made from putrescent oleander, wood, and something of an acquired taste. Coincidentally, taste is the first of the five senses to be ruined by Rotgut's consumption. Ah. Huh. Gotta go get his Rotgut. Alright, are you really happy to have your stool, huh? Alright, well you do you. You want me to turn the page? Wait, who... Um... Is your pipe even lit? Do you just like chewing on it a lot? I have several questions. Oh, mushrooms. Yay. This guard down the hall has rot gut. Oh, he's asleep. How convenient. Oh, there's his rot gut. Tread lightly and try not to wake the guard. So when it starts filling up, you're only heard. Move slowly to make less noise. You're being seen. Quickly break the line of sight. Wait, what's the difference? Oh, if there's an outline, like an empty outline means you're only being heard. A full outline means you're being seen. Oh, The disappointment basin. It's locked. You need the jail master's key. We're in, we're, we can't be any rats for the giant armored uh, rat, right? Try sneaking to move more quietly. Oh, that's important to have an actual sneaking button. I was just trying to move slowly and see if that worked. Apple. You wouldn't do anything mean like wake up, would you? That'd be very mean of you to do. Need the candlestick for that. Bottle of rocket. Easy. <laughs> you just wake up? Oh shit. That guy just woke up. That guy just woke up. That guy just woke up. Hi, how you doing? Did you leave? I don't think he likes it when you burn the banner. Or more specifically, I think he hears you when you burn the banner. Making it not the best move. Ooh, you can go this way. Interesting. Let's go back to the other guy first, though, before I lose track. Or accidentally leave. You need the jail master's key. Does he have the jail master's key? Did he go back to sleep? He sure did. He's slowly hearing me do that, too. Even in, even in sneak mode. Bye-bye. Should be well out of range now. Um... Pusillanimous. What does it mean, this word? It means to lack courage, I think. Ah, in that case... What are you doing in my cell, you pusillanimous little merkin? Uh, rude? Rude. Here, the bottle you wanted. It's his last one. Good. Now pop the bottle's neck twixt, twixt my lips. With a deft flick of his head, the frog, sent, the frog sends the bottle fl uh, spinning ac across his cell. It shatters into pieces against the wall. Every time that scrunt gets soused, I ha have to put up with his damned snoring. He didn't even want to drink it, he just wanted to make that guy not get drunk and be louder at snoring. Okay. Well, no more! I've done as you asked. Now will you help me? I gave you my word as a pirate. But I suppose I can make an exception. I'll answer a few of your questions. What is it you want? I'm looking for someone. Mara, my wife. Is she a mouse? Wearing a hood, yes. Ha. Huh. Then who can say? It's not easy to tell you mice apart. With your ears, and your tails, and your silly hats. Not nice. This seems like, hateful. 
Kolba, a mouse's hat or hood, counts among their most prized possessions, and is a source of great pride, representing, as it does, their profession and their social status. A mouse of any repute is never seen by any creature, save for their spouse, without their kolba. There are, however, notable exceptions. It's said, for example, that while occupying the town watchtower in protest against harsh working conditions, the quarry mice of whom threw off their hoods, emphasizing to all the seriousness of the matter, whilst at the same time making it difficult for the soldiers of the Red Paw to later identify the culprits. They're not silly. Psh. Right then. That's your first question. Ask and answered. Do you speak, Mouse? Only the curse words. Right then. I'll give you two more questions. That's how many I can pick from anyway. What dungeon is this? You're in a dwindling heights keep on the shore of Lake Valia. For centuries, the keep of, du of Duinlan Heights has defended the eastern shore of Lake Valia. Though once a fine building that uh, the keep has long since fallen into disrepair, its greatest enemy no longer marauding ferrets, but instead the acidic waters of the lake, which are slowly eroding the cliff face on which the keep stands. It's for this reason that, among, other lo among the locals, the fortress has become known as Dwindling Heights. You'd best get used to it. Right then. You had one question left, Mousy. Best make it count. How long have I been here? Let's see. Must have been more than ten days now since they brought you in. Dead to the world you were. Right then. That's your lot. Are we all square? That's all? You've told me almost nothing. I gave you more than you deserve, ungrateful scrunt. Don't you think you owe me at least something? Psh. Only thing you got coming from me is a good strangling. With what? You've only got one good free leg. I've killed mice for less and with less. Ugly little... Ugh. Tell you what. Take a good look behind me in my chamber pot. There might be a couple of florins in it for you. Why would there be florins in your chamber pot? The florin, F, is the official currency of the five rat provinces. Its coinage is minted in... 1F, 5F, and 10F denominations, from a naturally occurring alloy of silver, gold, and copper, found only in the Sarastra Mountains. The coin bears the emblem of the red paw on its face, though some older florins, featuring a portrait of Roderick, the last Rat King, are still in circulation. Colloquially known as cowards, these coins are greatly prized for they are substantially larger than their modern counterparts, and so can be melted down and recast into molds struck from the newer coins. Three cowards can be used to make as many as five florins. What? Why would there be florins in your chamber pot? Why? I'm not going to hold them forever, am I? Uh, did you eat them? Oh, the, we're talking about the prisoner's purse. Uh, the <laughs> Shoving shit up your butt. Captives brought the... Uh, captives brought to the Dwindling Heights will often swallow their valuables in order that they not be confiscated by the guards. They call it the Prisoner's Purse. Inevitably, nature will take its course. It's said that great wealth can be found in the chamber pots and sewers of Dwindling Heights. Uh. Uh. It's worth a few florins to be rid of you. I should go. Farewell. Don't let the door snap your tail. Uh, how did I get in here? That was weird. Back so soon, Mousy? What is it now? No. Uh. Yep, there's florins. Three florins. Oh, gross. Gross. He pooped them all out. He pooped them all out. You must be destroyed. You know what you did. Exist, mostly. It gives you plus 25 something. Let's see. What kind of meter is there around here? Oh, I think it gives me a renown to level me up. Neat. Neat, 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 neat. It's really dark in here. There's also clearly a lock. And as far as I can tell, I haven't found the key to said lock, so... Ain't doing that right now. Ooh. More grain.
I've tried this already, right? Yeah. Need the jail master's key. The jail master? Green bug. Just kind of collecting whatever I encounter, really. Is that more rot that I can collect? Bottle. An empty wine bottle hefty enough to knock out any guard without a helmet. If thrown with precision, you can, uh, oh, if thrown with, with precision, can be used to create a distraction or dislodge an item from its perch. So you can knock things over by throwing an item, or you can throw it at a guard to KO them. Useful. Right now he's unconscious anyway, though, so kind of pointless. They wear armor, but not pants. Raises all new questions, really. The screaming door. Need the screaming door key. Uh, what a name for a door to have. It could be that they torture people back there and they scream a lot, or it could be just a name that indicates that the door is really fucking loud when you try to open it, which is kind of an important thing to know in a stealth game. So maybe it's a really dangerously loud door and that's going to get me in trouble when I try to open it. What was that? Oh, just the chance to close the door? Yep. No biggie. It's locked. You need the flooded cell key. Oh, everything's a key around here, huh? I might have to knock him out to get a key off of him or figure out how to loot him if I can pickpocket. Oh, there it is. This is too risky. I'll risky you. Oops. Come back here. You're embarrassing me. I can only sneak so quickly. Come back here. There we go. Now I can get the key. Oopsie. I threw both of them. Crap. Oh, a hanky. Mine. Some pants on, you degenerate. It was a loud door. Kind of. I really wish I hadn't thrown both of my bottles. That was just generally not the best move. Nothing of interest in here. But when he wakes up, he's gonna come this way? I don't know. He might go around looking for who knocked him out. Oh boy! Oh boy! Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Ooh. What do you do? Hopefully not get me killed. Wait, what did I hear? Oh, it's him coming back. We're fine. Apple. Would have been nice to close that. Maybe he doesn't look very closely? Hey, a stick. The cupboard key. Maybe he won't come in here. Maybe he came all the way down to check out the door and now has gone back to his base. And won't come back. Or he's just gonna come right here. Shit. Oh no! Ah. Uh. Was that not actually dangerous? Was that just unpleasant and that's it? Maybe. Ooh. Pausing does not pause the game. I can still hear stuff happening. That's good to know. That is good to know. Can you eat an apple? Can you still eat an apple core? Yes. Alright. What do you use a hanky for? The handkerchief is... In fact, a small flag representing the garrison's colors of dwindling heights. It has, however, clearly been used as a handkerchief. Oh, it's not supposed to be a hanky. I only have Screaming Door and Cell, which I've both used, so I don't think they're useful anymore. Oh, that's a lot of candles. Uh, 
That may have been bad. Did you hear that? He's not even moving right now. They said you could dislodge stuff, so I wanted to dislodge that giant stack of candles and get them. Didn't seem to work out. I'm, it's not, I'm not entirely convinced that's even a real item, but just a background element. But I haven't seen dislodged, dislodgeable items yet. Seemed like a reasonable guess. Can you hide in here too? Yep. Look at that. Uh, what is this camera angle? They give me a slit to simulate what I'm looking at, but I don't know what to make of that. Can you climb this? Ooh, cards. And bottles. Loading my character up right now. Need the jail master key again. Oh, is there a, a guard in there? Oh boy. It's also a dead end. He's coming back, right? Yep. Oh, does he have a key? He has a lantern on that side. Now turn around for me. Turn around. Please. Ready, please? No key. I should probably be worried about the fact that there's a guard inside there. The begging door. Is a begging door too? He has a hanky, as they always seem to. Nothing in the bed. I can sleep there for some reason. Hanky. I was hoping I'd find something else to po pickpocket. I don't think so. Where am I going then? Exit the jail. Collect roses. I'm trying. Level me up. Thank you. It was plus 25 before, right? Oh, hornet's nest. Oh, I've disturbed the hornet's nest. No, 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 no. Bad times. Can I go in there? Ooh. I'm curious. It's in my inventory now, right? Bottle. Fate card. Arcane card used by some divine ones. Uh, used to divine one's fate. The card's face bears an an illustration of a fantastical creature. Its limbs contorted to form mysterious symbols whose meaning you do not understand. Maybe I was wrong to go this way at all. Maybe I need to go use my candle to light up that one dark area? But it's, it's got a, it clearly has a lock on it, so you'd expect it to require me to get a key. I don't think I got a hornet's nest in my inventory. I just think I just, I just disturbed the hornet's nest and that's it. Oh, I thought I could get it. Maybe use it against that guy? Am I imagining things or there's like no doors anywhere? Screw it. Hey there. Oh wait, I didn't equip it. There we go. Oopsie. There we go. Well, that was... Oh! Begging door key. Was that on the floor, or did he drop it? I swear that wasn't there a moment ago. Oh, well. Now I'm through here, and there's... What the hell is that, like, light vortex over there? 